Oakwell was the venue as Chelsea went to Yorkshire to face championship side Barnsley in this sixth round clash for a place in the semi-finals. The Tykes were on course for their best ever cup run if they could overcome Chelsea and reach the semi-finals. They'd beaten Blackpool and Southend in earlier rounds, but the big news in their cup run was their fifth round victory at Liverpool. They'd beaten the Merseysiders 2-1 at Anfield to record one of the most famous victories in the club's history, with captain Brian Howard securing the win with a last minute goal. Chelsea were looking to reach consecutive finals after they'd beaten Manchester United 1-0 in 2007, following Didier Drogba's extra time winner. The Blues had beaten QPR, Wigan and Huddersfield to make the quarter-finals and were confident of reaching the last four. A quarter-final tie here to Sabre, one that whatever the outcome will provide Barnsley with a very welcome financial boost of around a million pounds when all's said and done. But Chelsea surely will be on their toes after Liverpool's demise in the last round. But Barnsley, despite a difference of some 33 league places, are determined to reach what for them will be a first FA Cup semi-final then since they won the competition nearly a century ago. Well, here's a run through the lineups, and for Barnsley, well, on loan Luke Steele, not surprisingly, has quickly established himself as a fixture in goal now after his astonishing debut at Anfield, but they've lost Brazilian Anderson through a long-term injury since that glorious day on Merseyside. And of course, John Macken and Louis Nyatanga, who both missed the Liverpool game, remain cup tied. They do have, though, Rob Kozluk available again after suspension. Superstars are plenty, of course, for Chelsea. Whatever the lineup, it's invariably a formidable one. Avram Grant got it wrong. I think it's fair to say for the Carling Cup final. But since that Wembley defeat by Tottenham, they've responded then with two comprehensive wins to keep alive their hopes of the treble. Steve Bennett is today's referee. About to get us underway. Simon Davy admitting this week he was unnerved after watching the power of Chelsea's demolition of Olympiakos in the Champions League. I did have a plan, he said, before I saw that game. Now I think I'm going to have to change it. But he'll have his players fired up and ready. Barnsley in the red shirts to get us underway. Ferenczi there wearing 13, the Hungarian. Bobby Russell, the block figure, has a role in midfield this afternoon. Maybe looking out for back or perhaps Joe Cole. Banak, something of a surprise inclusion, but I think the injury to Lampard maybe uh, meant a change of heart for Avram Grant at the last minute. John Terry, back to his best again in midweek since his recent return from injury, getting sharper with every match. And of course he is such a leader, such a talisman, whatever the commitments that Chelsea have ahead of them. You would expect them to cut through this game, but then you would have expected Liverpool to have beaten Barnsley at Anfield. That was Campbell Rice operating down the left-hand side, with Devaney on the right, Devaney who provided some really telling crosses at Anfield, including the one that led to their first goal, scored by defender Steve Foster. Odajayi, the Nigerian, who's playing up front then in tandem with Ferenczi. Hasn't scored since September. This wouldn't be a bad time, sir, to get your name on the score sheet again. Here's Balak. Really has been looking influential in recent games for Chelsea. We're getting possession there well, too. Out by Souza, the Brazilian playing at the back. Here's Terry. Then to Balak. At Cavalio. It's the first choice bearing then in central defence for Chelsea today with Terry and Cavalio. Campbell Rice, who scored in midweek in the league game, the draw with Blackpool. Good interchange of passing here, this is Hassel. Howard's made the run ahead of him, Campbell Rice. Can be a tricky little customer down the wing. Sonny through well too for Howard. He will favour his left foot, that's the one he scored that last gas goal at Anfield with. And he will feel he's got a point to prove today against Chelsea. As I was saying earlier, he had that trial with them back in 2003. 
thought maybe he'd be offered a contract, but when he was, it was really, uh, to be told, that he'd be well down the pecking order. Roman Abramovich had just come to the club, was about to sign some world-class players. So he decided it was time to try his luck elsewhere. And he really has become a key player for Barnsley. Here is Howard now to Campbell Rice. Two in the middle, they've got some height in there with Oda Jai and Ferretti. But Chelsea have Terry back there. Out comes Essien. The gun here. Now Wade Bridge on a sortie down that Chelsea left. Hassel's challenge. On Maluda. Bridge to curl it in. Sousa to deal with it. Bridge again. Now that's a Joe Cole. Still smarting, I think, for being left out of the starting lineup for the Carling Cup final. Wayne Bridge. And three in the middle, then they were well represented in the centre, Chelsea. First minor scare for Barnsley to contend with. And I'm sure there'll be plenty more as this game wears on. Chelsea striving for an early foothold here with Joe Cole. Melka beaten to it by Sousa. He's come to Barnsley from Belgium, from uh, Brazil via Belgium. And Holland too. Seems to settle well with the local surroundings up in Barnsley. Where they are very passionate about their football. Belletti. Simon Davy promising his team will give it a go. We won't just sit back. Long way to go yet, though, Simon. Here's Florent Maluda with a corner for Chelsea. There's Balak going up, and then Joe Cole to fire it through. Not quite sure who hit the way. Cole is convinced it came off a Barnsley leg. Not so, according to the officials. It's Foster who got his head to that first. Ahead of Barak, then Cole shot. It did seem to take a deflection, didn't it? So it should have been a corner. A let off end for Barnsley. Here's Belletti. Now Hassel. Deceiving right, Phillips. To Hobwet, or Van Hobwet, I should say. Here's Oda Jai. That's another foul on him. He's certainly asking one or two questions of these Chelsea defenders. Howard taking charge. Waiting for Sousa to arrive up top, and in fact he's going to leave it here anyway, the free kick to Bobby Hassel. Now Maluda for a Chelsea team who've lost only three times in 37 games under Avram Grant. He has come in for some stick, the manager, since the Carling Cup defeat, which has angered him considerably. He feels that's not showing any respect for what he's achieved already. Of course, they are still in the running for a treble. But he knows the fans won't really accept him to the team. Not only win matches, but do so with style. And that, after all, is why he was brought in to replace uh, Jose Mourinho. Fricton. But only to steal. The FA's man of the match. It won't surprise you to learn in the last round. After his heroics at Atfield. Save after save after save. It was extraordinary stuff. It's what the FA Cup's all about. Anelka. 
Good run by Short, right foot, it's brought that down beautifully. And then Balak for the strike on goal, and Joe Cole. Really determined defending to deny him. Well, they're a pitting there for offside, the flag stayed down. And when it came in here, I think it's Koslup, yeah, who got himself in the way of Cole's pile driver. But Chelsea knocking on the door at the moment. Anelka. Barnsley still pinned back here. But a huge collective sigh of relief from the Barnsley fans around Oakwell. their biggest crowd today since Leeds played here in 1991 in the FA Cup we'll wait for the official attendance later on Hassel put under pressure by Maluda he doesn't get to start too many games these days although in fairness to him he was injured earlier on in the campaign doesn't seem to be a first choice though under Alfred Grant Anelka Chance though, and it was a chance. So much quality in this team, there are going to be uh, plenty of opportunities, I'm sure. But so far, so good with almost 20 minutes gone for Barnsley. Really, what made their win at Anfield so exceptional was that in the league they won only once away this season, that was way back in September. They got the worst away record in the championship. At home, though, as I was pointing out earlier on, not too bad at all with just those two setbacks against Coventry at the start of the season and more recently against Norwich. Not by Foster initially. Then Van Hobbelwitz, but it comes Essien now. Such a powerhouse in the midfield. Now they call the Bison. This is Joe Cole. And again, the England man. Making well with Belletti. But Barnsley once again unhinged. Belletti, who has come up with a couple of cracking goals this season. And advancing from that right back position. Bridge on the Chelsea left. Referred to Ashley Cole today. Balak showing in midweek that he and Lampard can't play together. Oda Jai. Oh, goodness me, Kudachini. Caught it two minds then, could he pick it up or not? Was it a back pass? He wasn't sure, and Adajayi so nearly took advantage of his indecision. Well, it came off John Terry. I don't think they, that would have been construed as a back pass, but he couldn't be certain then, Kudachini, and had to react as quickly as he could, with Adajayi bearing down on him. And now, Cap. Free-kick to Barnsley. Hurt by the endeavour there of Devaney. If they can get him away, Simon Davies team down the right, he really can't deliver, as he showed at Anfield. Simon Davies, who took over from Andy Ritchie. Initially, I think, on a caretaker basis. Now really uh, revelling in the role. And it's a chance for Ferenczi! Well, he was so close. Defenders have backed off him here. Balak wasn't tight enough. The two number 13s. And it was the Hungarian who came out on top. Kudacini was beaten and it scraped the outside of the upright. 
first real chance they've had so far. Apart from that moment of hesitancy from Kudashini earlier. Again, the finalists in the FA Cup was Southampton back in 2003 where they lost to Arsenal. Robert Perez goal. Right for left, there's a lovely ball for Cole. Now there's danger. John Terry at the far post. Knocked down for Nelka. Desperate defending by Hassel. And it played off. Terry unselfishly knocking it down. I wonder if he might not have done better there to go for goal. Uh, maybe not. Saw Anelka out of the corner of his eye. But the shot superbly charged down there by Hassel. Bridge can't get over. And it just eluded Nicholas Anelka. Barnsley will definitely be sensing that this game is there for the taking. Only twice before in their history have they got to the semi-finals. The last one of the year they won it, 1912, won the FA Cup. Just after the sinking of the Titanic. And we're going to see the sinking of Chelsea today. Odegei. Well then Cavallio, then Balak. Off goes Essien, lost control though, on this pick of a pitch. Doesn't really favour a passing game. That was Ferretti's pass to Devaney. Van Hobwood up in support. What a goal! Yes! What a leap and what a goal! Coyote Arajay, who hasn't scored since September, has delivered here for Barnsley. His power in the air, just too much for Chelsea defenders. Simon David doing his best out there to keep calm, keep composed, but they're letting rip the Barnsley fans, and no wonder. Such a moment for him. I tell you what, this is a great ball from Devaney. Curacini beaten in the air. Even bothered a little then as he struck it, Devaney. Remember, it was from his cross that Foster scored at Anfield. It's another quality service from the wing. And how's this for a header from Odajai? I think Cavallio could do on the goal line. Another huge, huge cup shot in the making. As Oakwell erupts. That was Balak's header. And surely now, Chelsea are not going to save this. Less than 60 seconds. I bet the old tickers got there. <laughs> Simon Davy. Just listen to the noise now around Oakwell. And the whole place is going to explode. If Chelsea don't find an equaliser here. All eyes on Steve Bennett, it's down to him now. As to how much more agony the Barnsley fans have to endure. If it stays this way, Chelsea's misery will last a lot longer. They're on the brink of going out, the holders. Going out to Barnsley from the championship. Some of the fans think it's the final whistle, it's not. But it soon will be, unless, unless Chelsea can find something here right at the last. I think the kick's got to be taken again. John Terry complaining bitterly now. Giving Steve Bennett an ear bashing. As Simon Davy patrols the touchline. How much longer? Kudacini. A couple of fans are on the pitch. A couple of idiots. There'll be plenty of time to celebrate if they do get through. Don't spoil it now. The fans, I mean. Kudacini. Can Chelsea yet spoil the party? That was John Terry. That's it. They have done it. First it's Anfield and Liverpool. Now it's Chelsea and Oakwell. It's unbelievable stuff from Barnsley. The holders are out. Avram Grant with his head down. Well, you have to feel for him. The knives will be out for him, that's for sure. 
Still Simon Davey just trying to keep his emotions in check. It can't be easy. There's the hero this time, Kaede Onajai. As Avram Grant is led away here. Ringing in his ears, the cheers, the celebrations of the Barnsley fans. And well, the, disencha the disenchanted noise, I'm sure, from the Chelsea supporters. A wonderful, wonderful day, one they will never, ever forget, along with the trip to Anfield. It just gets better and better and better. Next up, the semi-finals and a trip to Wembley, and who knows? Maybe on to the final itself. On this very blustery day up in South Yorkshire, the scoreline says it all. It's a, a remarkable story. The FA Cup sixth round tie at Oakwell. Barnsley won, Chelsea nil. After another memorable giant killing, Barnsley would lose out to Cardiff for a place in the final, whilst Chelsea would go on to finish runners-up in both the Premiership and the Champions League.